Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Ironworker Gaming Channel. I am Ironworker814, and thank you for joining me for another Destiny 2 PvP viewer requested weapon review, where we take a look at pros, cons, stats, damage numbers, and how to obtain the weapon. The weapon we're going to be taking a look at today is Exit Strategy, and this review was requested by Joris de Bruin. Now, just a heads up, we do have an extremely long and ever growing list of these viewer requested weapon reviews. I've posted it down in the comments so you can see what's coming down the pipe. And if you happen to see the weapon you requested, way down on the list, please be patient. I'm trying to get through these as efficiently as possible without compromising the quality of the video. And if you'd like to show this video some support, go ahead and hit the like button. And if this is your first time to the channel and you like what you're seeing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. But Exit Strategy was brought into Destiny 2 with the first batch of the newly branded Ritual Weapons, which were designed to be less powerful than their pinnacle weapon predecessors, and uh, mission accomplished. Gone were the days of the extremely powerful pinnacle weapons like Recluse or Revoker, and in their place came weapons like Python or Randy's Throwing Knife. That, for the most part, released with very little excitement surrounding them. But that doesn't mean that these weapons were just downright bad. I mean, some of them were actually pretty decent in certain scenarios and situations. I think the same can be said about Exit Strategy. But as always, the real question we're here to answer is can this gun perform in the Crucible in Season of Arrivals? Or being a weapon tuned for Gambit, is that where it should stay? We'll go over that right after we go over how to obtain Exit Strategy for those who have not done so already. Alright, Exit Strategy was introduced into Destiny 2 in Season of Undying. This is a Gambit Ritual weapon, so visit the old Dirty Drifter and pick up the Clean Getaway quest. If you are very new to the game, you may have to play through the introduction to Gambit before you can pick up this quest. But once you have the quest, you must complete these three requirements in Gambit. 150 SMG multi-kills, 125 medals earned, any medal will do and you must reach 100% on points accumulated by defeating enemies and sending blockers. The SMG kills are going to come pretty quickly, but the medals and the points are going to require a little bit of a time investment. I would say just try to play through your matches as efficiently as possible, and by the time you've had a belly full of Gambit, you will be able to claim your exit strategy. Exit Strategy is a legendary kinetic submachine gun belonging to the adaptive frame archetype. It shoots at 900 rounds a minute and comes with 33 rounds in the magazine. Looking at the stats, they're all pretty average. I mean, reload is slightly above average and handling is slightly below average, but really nothing crazy going on here. It does come packing ricochet rounds, and we do have some options for our next two perk columns. In column one, we can pick from Underdog or Threat Detector, both add passive benefits to this weapon, and in column 2 we have the choice of Surrounded or Swashbuckler. Both are damage increasing perks. Also, Exit Strategy is going to drop fully masterworked instability. Taking a look at the hidden stats on like.gg, we can see we have an aim assist value of 47, which is average, but a recoil of 97 and a bounce intensity of 3, making Exit Strategy an extremely stable SMG, even on consoles. Alright, into the damage numbers, and Exit Strategy is going to do 17 points of damage on a critical hit and 13 points of damage to the body, giving us an optimal time to kill of 0.73 seconds, requiring 9 crits and 3 body shots, and a body shot time to kill of 0.93 seconds, requiring 13 shots to land. Just in case you were wondering, if you proc Swashbuckler times 5, you're going to see your damage jump to 22 and 15 respectively. And if you proc Surrounded, your damage is going to go up to 23 and 17. Both of them allow Exit Strategy to come in with an optimal time to kill of 0.53 seconds. The body shot time to kill with Swashbuckler times 5 is going to be 0.8 seconds, and with Surrounded is going to be 0.73 seconds. But now let's take a look at where Exit Strategy can perform well in PvP. To start off the pros, Exit Strategy is an extremely stable weapon. The bar you see on the stats screen just does not do this weapon justice. The recoil and bounce intensity numbers that we saw in the hidden stats really tell the tale here. So if you happen to be a player who struggles with recoil control, you need not worry with Exit Strategy. Then we do have some damage perks on the weapon, which is always a plus. Swashbuckler is generally going to be the better option for PvP here, since around it can be pretty tough to proc in the Crucible. So anyone who has a melee heavy playstyle, or if you're running a Titan with your one hit kill shoulder charges, you should be able to take advantage of that 0.53 second optimal time to kill pretty regularly. But at base we have that 0.73 second optimal time to kill, which is subpar when compared to other submachine gun archetypes. 
but the body shot time to kill of 0.93 seconds is actually the best comparably. So while exit strategy might not be the most lethal SMG, it is very forgiving. And lastly, I am breaking one of my own rules by saying this, but this weapon just feels good. I hate saying this because I'm from the school of thought that a weapon can't just feel good. There has to be something that makes it feel good. But with exit strategy, I just don't know what that something is. I mean, on paper, this weapon is just as average as average can get for the Crucible. But since obtaining this weapon over half a year ago, this gun rarely lets me down. I just, I land my shots and targets go down, clean cut and dry. I really don't know how else to explain it, but for me, this gun just works. But now let's head into the cons and see where exit strategy is just coming up a bit short in PvP. Alright, let me start things off by saying that Exit Strategy is a Gambit Ritual weapon, and it is really built for Gambit. And while some weapons like Recluse or Mountaintop have transitioned very well out of their designated lane, Exit Strategy just does not fall into that category. You can tell just by looking at the perks that this gun was designed for you to be right in the middle of packs of ads at all times. And the usefulness of Underdog Threat Detector and Surrounded in PvP is debatable. And then even though I am generally successful with this gun, I mean, it's overwhelmingly average in almost every respect. There's really nothing that Exit Strategy can do in the Crucible that another adaptive frame submachine gun couldn't do as well, if not better. And then the range can be a little bit of an issue here. And I know we are looking at an SMG and damage at range is not its primary function, but we're looking at damage fall off starting at 14 meters. And it is quite easy to forget how tight 14 meters actually is. And maybe the biggest thing that's hurting Exit Strategy is the current sandbox, with the overall strength of auto rifles and sidearms. Now we all know just how strong those 600 RPM auto rifles are, but even the 720s, which always felt like a beefed up submachine gun to me, can be a more versatile option here. And sure, the time to kill values are not quite as fast as an SMG, but they are still pretty strong at closer ranges, and you have the added ability to engage at longer ranges, where you can play at around 20 meters and still see maximum damage output. And then you have sidearms, which are generally sporting a better time to kill value than SMGs, while playing in very similar ranges. So is exit strategy really going to be the better option here? I feel like if you have to think too hard about this question, then you already know the answer. So is exit strategy a good option for the Crucible? You know, I, I, I want to say yes so badly, but that would just solely be based on my feelings about the gun. I really cannot cast judgment based on feelings, no matter how well this gun has served me in the past. I really try to take an intellectual approach when doing these weapon reviews, and it would be going against some of my core principles to do so. Because looking at exit strategy as a whole, it just does not have enough going for it to make it competitive for most players in PvP. I mean, it was built for Gambit, not Crucible, and it just does not translate well enough for me to recommend it. It's just sadly outclassed by too many other options. But if you've enjoyed this weapon review and found it useful in any way, shape, or form, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. And to see more Destiny 2 weapon reviews similar to this one, consider subscribing to the Ironworker Gaming channel. You could drop Ironworker814 a follow over on Twitch if you'd be interested in hanging out with me live sometime. And if you'd like to get a hold of me, simply comment down below. I do my best to read and respond to every comment because I respect your time and I appreciate your feedback. And with all that being said, I'd like to thank you for spending a piece of your day checking out this weapon review. You guys are awesome and I will catch you on the next one.